Okay, this taping is for a hyper, to help prevent uh, hyperextended elbows. Uh, we're gonna need some pre-wrap, some tough skin, uh, some heel and lace pads, uh, and some white tape. Uh, first we need to <clears throat> apply our um, adhesive spray uh, above and below the elbow, uh, both anterior and posteriorly. And then we're going to apply our uh, heel and lace pads, our gauze pads, telfa pads, whatever you have uh, in the elbow joint. And the crease. Okay, then we're going to apply our pre wrap. We're basically going to go from about the mid forearm to about uh, mid upper arm or just above the biceps. slightly flex your elbow. And ideally this would go directly to the skin to be most effective. Um, but for practice sake we'll put the pre-wrap on. Um, then we're going to put our anchors on. Again this has to go directly to the skin. We're going to angle slightly down. Uh, have the, the athlete contract your muscle. I'm going to put two anchors up here. You can use white tape or um, elastic tape, um, elastic con. And then have her contract her forearms and again put two anchors at the bottom just angling up. Overlapping by 50%. And then what we're going to do is we're going to apply an X pattern. And I'm going to use um, uh, elasticon tape or something strong uh, that doesn't have much give. Um, now this can be done a couple different ways. Uh, you can actually do this on the, the person, uh, but what you want to do is you want to make sure you have the elbow, like wherever the pain is, go to the point of pain and back off a little bit and that's where you want to tape it. Okay, and I'm going to measure the, uh, the tape from the uh, top anchor to the bottom anchor. I'm going to have to cut this for me. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut four of these to make a crisscross pattern. First one would go straight, then the second one, third one, and then the fourth one is going to go straight down. But I'm going to put these on the table. Cut that for me. Okay. And one more. Okay, so again, I have a, an X pattern, one on the bottom, X, X, and one at the bottom. And I'm going to anchor this on the top first, or close it. And again, you can either use the elastic tape or the white tape, and I'm, I'm going to use the white tape again so you can see it. Have a contractor muscle. Got it. Thank you. I'm trying. There you go. And now, while that's attached, then I'm going to pull this down to the point of pain, and then I'm going to test it before I tape it down to see if ask her to extend it. If I need to reattach it, if that's painful, I have her flex, flex her a little bit and hold on to it and then have her extend again. And if that's okay, then I'm going to anchor it, but close this down. Again, I have her contractor forearm. Okay. 
And then when you're done, you can continuous, you can do a continuous wrap with a elastic wrap or um, elastic tape. Again, from the forearm down to the uh, top of the elbow. Just to help keep it secure in there. And then after you're done, you can check to see how effective it is. Have her extend her elbow. You also want to check uh, distal circulation and sensation to make sure the tape isn't too tight. And then send her off. <laughs>